Hello guys, we are live on air again. This is the second time today. Uh, as you know guys, welcome. I hope that my sound is loud and clear. We uh, had to split today's live show in two parts because uh, the admins told us that our dear brother, Christian Prince, was about to go live. So out of respect for this amazing brother, we were like, yeah, we are already live for at least one and a half hour. Let us stop let us wrap it up and allow christian prince especially the audience here our beloved audience who are always here to support us to go and watch his live show and we will do another part immediately after so this is part two of this series guys so we had to split it in two parts maybe it's a good thing you know so people could uh, have uh, something to eat uh, maybe go to drink something maybe buy cigarettes whatever guys uh, we're here to serve guys, you know, uh, no worries, we're here again. I skipped the intro as you noticed because basically uh, we already did the intro before in part one. So I was like, okay, you know, keep it short, keep it sweet. So guys, make sure to invite our friends, invite our friends for part two of this series. Oh, yeah, so part two. Let us start, guys. Let us start by <clears throat> a nice prayer first. So that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ can bless our live show and the audience who are watching. Guys, let us pray in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Pray with me. Dear Lord, bless our beloved audience and subscribers. And Jesus, thank you. Thank you so much for your ultimate gift, your ultimate sacrifice and the grace that you gave us. Jesus, we truly believe that you are risen. You are risen indeed. al Masih qam. Haqqan qam. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your love, your infinite love for us and the grace that saved us from death, eternal death. And thank you for this amazing audience and subscribers who are back again to support us, to be here, to learn about Islam and how to expose Islam, to destroy this evil cult, Lord. Please bless our audience, their loved ones and families. And please, Lord, keep all of us healthy and safe from the spread of this Qur'an virus. It's an evil, disgusting, dangerous virus. Father, I pray to you and ask you to enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, Lord, so that you can direct our words, thoughts, and actions. Give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give in to any discouragement, any taqiyya, any makr, deception of Allah, which is Satan, any lies, or any doubt, Lord. Lord, please help us honor you in all our ways. Jesus, I pray to you and ask you to shine your holy light on all of us, including the Muslims who might be searching for the truth. Please, Lord, open their eyes so they can be saved as we are saved. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and please, please loosen my tongue today and guide me so that I can speak the truth without any error or any shame. Nothing but the truth, Lord. And please give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. This is part two of this series. We had to split this live show in two parts, as we mentioned, because uh, we heard that our dear brother, Christian Prince, um, had to do a live show. So... Thank you for being here again, guys. I hope you enjoyed Christian Prince, his live show. I hope you benefited from him. So let us continue here. Uh, again, part two. To refute this Daoud Kim, who is nothing but a victim himself, but he's doing too much damage in Korea and he's deceiving many poor Koreans there. Uh, so <clears throat> we're going to expose him, expose his prophet and show everybody the real, the true face of Islam, not the... <laughs> Uh, the, 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 the Islam that he is trying to, right, to bring in Korea. 
On top of that, anything that we can find in the Islamic sources will be used against the fake prophet of Islam in the court of law. So I hope that Allah is not asleep and he is going to be his personal lifeguard present during today's hearing to defend his self-proclaimed prophet Muhammad in the court of law. Uh, last but not least, I hope that we have Muslims who gave us so many dislikes. I mean, you, you see guys how, how triggered these Muslims are, man. Uh, to be honest with you, when I was watching uh, Christian Prince, I was having some uh, food, I was hungry. And I w came back and I saw that we had more dislikes than likes. <laughs> Can you imagine? Muslims are triggered. I, I even have more dislikes than our dear brother, the true living legend, Christian Prince. When Christian Prince closed his live show, he had like 9 or 10 dislikes. We already, before we started, we had 18 dislikes. This, uh, this says something, guys. Uh, admins, let me open my Skype and please provide my Skype ID in the live chat if you can. Keep our admins in your prayers, guys. Keep us in your prayers so we can do many amazing live shows in the future. Keep my family in your prayers. Keep me in your prayers, my pregnant wife, my unborn child. And let us continue part two. Welcome, everybody. Share. Share the link. On social media guys let everybody know that we are live let the Muslim know that we are live let us see if we're going to have Muslims who think who have the courage and the knowledge to refute us live on air where are the Imams where are the Shiuch where is a uh, Sheikh Imam Al-Azhar Abdullah al Kuri, Abdullah the Korean the Sheikh uh, the Imam of uh, this uh, this poor duped Korean Muslim where is he I think he's counting his money, guys. It's all about the money, bray. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. It's all about the Benjamins, right, Muslims? Uh, so, guys, let us see if we can play the video again, uh, and we will continue from there. I'm going to put my headsets on. So, guys, let us focus to uh, what the Muslims, these poor victims, are saying in... Uh, the video but make sure guys as we said make sure to subscribe smash that like button and if it's okay maybe you can also subscribe to our Facebook account social media facebook.com slash Christian and if you want to support our full-time ministry you can do that on patreon.com slash Rob Christian welcome let us start let us start Okay, let's see where we uh, left. Uh, ta -ta -ta. I hope we can continue immediately from where we stood still. Wow, the call. I hope this is a Muslim. Uh, yes, hello? Hello? Uh-oh, what happened? Uh, a biblical teaching. Uh, please don't call me, you're not a Muslim, man. The guy who just called me, I think you're... Please don't call me. Only Muslims call, guys. Come on. Only Muslims call. We will allow Christians to call us later. But please, for now, only Muslims can call. You know the basic rules, right, guys? So please, if you're a Christian, don't call me yet. Don't waste my time, please. So let us start. Uh, let's see. All right, all right. I think... Oh, we're almost through the whole video, man. Okay, that's good. But we have many things to cover. Uh, they are going to say a lot of stuff, so... We have a lot of minutes to fill, guys. Let's see. So what did they say uh, here? When we pray five times a okay, day, they we pray always okay. mind that we are just a person in front of Allah. Mm -hmm. We are all equal and same people. You are equal and same people? When did that happen, guys? Muslims are equal with the, with the rest of the humans? When did that happen, man? I think uh, I think you must have dreamt, dreamt it or something, man. Equal with the rest? That's a lie. <sighs> okay, we mentioned this, that the Muslims are nothing but puppets in the hands of Allah, the puppet master. So let us see if everybody is equal with Muslims. If we go to chapter 98, ayah 6, chapter 98, ayah 6, it says, Indeed, they who disbelieved among the people of the scripture, those are the Jews and the Christians, by the way, 
and the polytheist will be in the fire of hell. How are you equal? Look, Allah is doing the difference here already. Abiding eternally therein. Those are the worst of creatures. Guys, we are called the worst of creatures. How are, how, how are you equal with us, uh, Kim, 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 Kim and your friend who's sitting there? How are you equal, you Muslims, how are you equal with us while Allah is insulting us, He is cursing us, calling us the worst of creatures? Where's the equality? Ah, uh, this is a secret. You are, you are claiming, you Muslims are claiming that you are equal with us. But if we go to your Quran, we see that we are the worst of creatures. We are called Najis, chapter 9, ayah 28. We are Najis. This is why we are not allowed to enter Mecca, right, Muslims? Where, what equality are you talking about? Uh, Determinator, thank you so much for the super chat. God bless you. God bless your family. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. So, where's the equality, Muslims? And it just is filthy. It's we are Allah is basically calling us crap. Where what equality are you talking about, Mr. Kim? Who are you trying to fool? You yourself? Your friend or us? What equality are you talking about, for God's sakes? I really want to understand, uh, guys. I mean, I'm trying to humbly understand how you Muslims claim that you are equal with us, while your Allah is calling us the worst of creatures. Chapter 9, Ayah 30, it says, And the Jews said, The Jews said, Uzair is the son of Allah, and the Christians said, The Messiah is the son of Allah. May Allah kill them. Where's the equality? Yes, hello? 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 Is it me that you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. Hello? <laughs> oh, continue, man. I like your voice. Continue singing. Are you singing for me, bro? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guys, we should we should call Arab Idol so that they can hire this guy. Continue, man. Continue. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Good. Ultimate Daddy. Ultimate Denki. <laughs> Ultimate donkey. Bro, we should really, really call Arab Idol and say there's an, a Senegal Muslim Abdul, an African, who is who has a beautiful voice, brother. And we should hire him for Arab Idol. You know, guys, there was one, one guy, he was honest, an Arab guy who was on, on uh, TV, an Arabian TV station. And he said, you know, Arabs, Arabs have only two things. That's hating Jews and war and jihad, right? So basically jihad, all the Jews must go and we have Arab idol. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> honest to God. I mean, come on. <laughs> he was honest. We have jihad, we have terrorism and we have uh, Arab idol. You know, you know what Arab idol is, right guys? Singing. The only thing, music, man. But uh, guys, music is haram, brother. Music is haram. Yeah, but you know, you should listen to Arab music. Arab music is the most, oh, basically the best music that you can have, man. Have you ever heard Arabic music, guys? These people can sing, man. I kid you not. Anyway, uh, Mr. Ultimate Donkey, thank you for uh, singing for me. I liked your voice. You, you failed, by the way. You were not good enough for Arab Idol, man. You don't even know Arabic. You're a Senegal Rashad Khalifa boy, brother. Ashad Khalifa boy. So guys, let us continue. Let us continue. So guys, listen. Let us see if if there is more equality. Till now, Allah is failing to help, uh, you know, uh, to provide us the equality that these people are talking about. People are equal. They are saying, "How? Oh, how, how, where's the equality?" Let's see. Chapter nine, ayah thirty. And the Jews said, "Uzair." Anyone who knows who Uzair is? Can you find me this name? I, can, I don't know. Anyway, Uzair is the son of Allah. And the Christians, maybe you can find me the, the word Christians here. It says Nasara. 
Christians, we Christians are not Nasar. Anyway, let us continue. And the Christians said, the Messiah is the son of Allah. They utter this from their own mouths. They speak like the former disbelievers. May Allah destroy them. May Allah kill them. Uh, where's the equality, man? I mean, you just said, you just said, and everybody heard you. You said that uh, people are equal. Well, what, what equal? What equal? Allah wants to destroy us. Allah is calling us nages. Allah calls us the worst of creatures. Where's the equality? Allah is insulting us and wants to destroy us left and right. What, is, what, what equality are you talking about, man? Right? Till now, we don't see it. Chapter 5, Ayah 51. O people who believe, those are the Muslims, right? Chapter 5, Ayah 51. Do not make the Jews and the Christians your friends. What? Wait. You just said, all people are equal. That's what you said, uh, Mr. Daud Kim. Right? That's what you said, you and your friend. What? Uh, how, how are you equal if Allah is not allowing you, Allah is commanding you to not be friends with Jews and Christians because we are nages, we are the worst of creatures. What equality are you talking about, man? Did you, did you drink something or did they lie to you? Which one of the two options? They are nothing but friends of one another. They are friends of one another. And whoever is among you befriends them is one of them. So Mr. Uh, Daud Kim and, the, and your friend Daniel, by the way, the other guy, is, his name is Daniel. Yeah, must be a Muslim name, brother. So let's say you're... Uh, you have, uh, your, your dad did not convert, your mom did not convert. You cannot even be friends with your mom or dad if they are Christians or Jews. Let's say your dad or mother are Christians. Or both of them. So you're not even allowed to be friends with your dad and mom. You're not allowed to be friends with your cousins. You are one of them. Do you see it? Hey, brother Soko Films, how are you? Oh, it's sister, Sister K Soko Films. How are you, sister? Guys, keep our sister here. She's one of the admins too. Keep her in uh, your prayers. She's always doing an amazing job in Speaker's Corner. Also, subscribe to her YouTube channel. Welcome, dear sister K Soko Films. Uh, so, yeah, we are one of them. So, you are, as a Muslim, you are one of them. One of who? One of the Jews and the Christians. So you're not even allowed to be friends with your own mom if she is a Christian. And remember, Allah is cursing your mom, right? Allah is cursing and he's going to destroy your mom. Uh, Daud came last time, you told us that your uh, mother is still a Christian. Your dad is a Christian. Even your Imam, Abdullah al-Kuri, his family are Christians. So are you saying that you are repeating the curses of Allah? On your own parents, on your own mother who carried you in her womb for nine months. You truly have no shame, you have no honor, you have no dignity to follow a cult that is telling you to hate your own mom, curse your own mom. Repeating the curses of Allah when you read the Quran. Where is the equality? Uh, your own mom is, is a filthy, dirty, disgusting creature. She is the worst of creatures. And she's your mom who carried you for nine months. Is that uh, yeah? Is that what uh, what you uh, what have been what have been told to you before you took your shahada, Mister Daud Kim and this guy Daniel Daniel? Do you, do you know about that? Do you know that you have to repeat the curses of Allah at least seventeen times a day? Uh huh. Uh huh. <sighs> So if you are friends with your mom, your kafira mom, or your dad, the kafir, you are one of them. You are a kafir and you are a hypocrite like them. And indeed, Allah is not going to guide you. Do you see it? Indeed, Allah will not guide you. You'll be, you became unjust. So Allah, you call yourself a Muslim, but Allah will not guide you because you're still friends maybe with your cousin, Christian cousins, maybe with your mom and dad. Uh, it says uh, it says friends here. Uh, I think you need to uh, you need to go see a doctor, uh, Mister Auliya. 
can mean friends, it can mean, uh, it has many meanings, but it, it is both, it's allies and friends, all right? I think you should so go see a doctor, brother. Go see a doctor because there's something wrong with your eyes. It's on the screen, you idiot. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Not are they only uh, brain dead, but they have also issues with their eyes, man. Right? Awliya means friends, it means allies. I mean, allies are your friends, you idiot. <laughs> Lord of mercy, man. <laughs> Lord of mercy, these people are brain dead, man. Awliya. Which means friends, allies, same. Bro, go see a doctor and do something about your brains, bro. The moment you took your shahada, your brains got fried. Uh, guys, if, you, if you've seen one of the movies of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, your brains got lobotomized, right? That's what they say, lobotomized in that movie. Yeah, same happened to you too, bro, when you take the shahada. And, and not only that, so guys, Allah does not allow you to be friends with your own parents if they are still Christians. He, he is going to curse your own mother who carried you for nine months in her belly, in her womb. And not only that, Allah is nothing but a super Marxist. Watch, chapter 3, Surat Ali Amran, I 110. You Muslims are the best among all the nations that were raised among, among mankind. Do you see it? Allah is placing the Muslims on a higher level than any creature. And he calls us nejus, filthy, disgusting. We are even lower than crab. Can you imagine? And he's calling us the worst of creatures. The Jews and the Christians. And here Allah is acting like a Nazi. He's Hitler himself. Actually Hitler compared to Allah is cute. Look. Super Marxist, racist religion. Exactly, Saljon Habibi. Thank you for that. Exactly. Sah? That is sah. Sah, I'm tahki. So, guys, where is the equality? I still don't see it. Where is the equality? I'll give you $1,000 if you can show me where in the Quran it says that Muslims are equal with the Jews and the Christians. Does, does that sound fair, guys? Huh? Do we have any Muslim? What about this? Chapter 9, Ayah 23, Surah at tawbah the chapter of the sword, right? That's the nickname of this chapter. Chapter of Al-Qital, of fighting. It has many nicknames. Fighting or the sword. Take a wild guess why it's called chapter of the sword, brother. Chapter 9, ayah 23. O people who believe, do not consider your fathers and your brothers as your friends if they prefer disbelief over faith. Do you know what that means, uh, Mr. Kim? You are not even allowed to be friends with your own brothers and father if they are not Muslims. And if you don't listen to Allah anyway as a Muslim, and you're going to befriend them, then it is he who is the unjust. So you become a kafir, you become a disbeliever, you become a non-Muslim. So Mr. Uh, Daud Kim, are you still friends with your, maybe you have a brother or a, or a dad or, your, or a mother? Are you, are you still friends with them? Do you still respect your mother? Because the Quran tells you to not to. You see the hypocrisy of these people, man? Of these crazy converts to Islam? Or reverts, as they call themselves? You see this, the, the hypocrisy of these people? You see the hypocrisy of these people, man? Are, are you even a real Muslim, man? Where's the equality, guys? I still want to see. Where's the equality between your own father who gave you basically life, right? Because of your father, because of the seed of your father, you are here on this planet, man. You must be a total idiot to accept Islam in 2020. You must be 
an ignoramus to become a Muslim convert in 2020 because you have no idea what the Quran is saying. How can you become a convert while you, while you didn't even study Islam, you did not read the Quran and understand it? How can you recite the Shahada while you have no idea what Islam is all about? You have no clue about this disgusting, evil, super Marxist religion, man. It's not even worthy to be called religion. It's nothing but a po political ideology that wants to conquer the whole world, what wants to enslave everyone who is not a Muslim and rape their women and take their children as sex slave, uh, sorry, as slaves to become jihadis, like they did for the janissaries uh, in uh, in the Ottoman Empire. Remember what they used to do to the janissaries, guys? They used to steal Christian children. I kid you not. Young boys, train them, and make them brain their soldiers so they can fight for the Ottoman Empire. And you have no idea what kind of filthy murderers they made them. Young boys, man, they used to steal them from their mothers. Train them as soldiers. The Janissaries, yeah. This Islam is nothing but a... How can I put it in words, guys? It's like a remote control, right? Remote control. They take you out your, you know, they slice your, your skull, right? With a, with a saw. They remove your brains, they put a remote device in there, and they basically, you know, with a remote control, they, they can play with you and uh, send you and uh, make you fight for... Biblical teaching, don't call me. I said clearly, don't call me Christians. You're a Christian, don't call me yet, man. I will allow Christians to call me. Don't, guys, Christians, please, please. Admins, tell them, uh, the Christians to not call me while I'm not finished yet. Please, admins. God bless you, but tell the Christians that they are not allowed to call yet. Only we, for now, we only accept Muslim calls. You know the basic rules, uh, Christians. Come on. So Islam is nothing but a virus that is brainwashing people. That's what they do. That's what Islam teaches. Look at this. Look at the equality of the of the Prophet of Islam, Sayyid Al Bukhari. Guys, watch. Let me give you the link to this hadith. Sahih al-Bukhari. Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 2926. Sahih, Sahih al-Bukhari, speaking from Kif. Hira, Hira, Hira. 2926. Look what it says. Narrated Abu Huraira. Allah's Messenger said, now watch guys. The hour will not be established, which is the last hour, the last day, the last hour. Judgment Day will not be established until you fight with the Jews. So all the Jews must go. And the sto even the stones behind which a Jew will be hiding will say, Oh Muslim. So the, even the stone, look at, look at this comedy show. Guys. Even the stones will speak and will say, Oh Muslim, there is a Jew behind me, hiding behind me. So come and kill him. So guys, can you imagine, according to Islam, the last hour will not be established until all the Jews are completely wiped out. Didn't I tell you that Hitler, compared to Muhammad, Hitler himself is cute? I mean, Hitler, you know, we know guys, the, the horrible stuff that happened in World War II. But let's say Hitler killed 6 million Jews. I don't know the exact number, but let's say it was 6 million Jews, which was nothing but a genocide. But look, Muhammad is even more evil than Hitler himself. And he tells the Muslims, all the Jews must go, else the last hour will not be established. Can you imagine, guys? Muslims, where is the equality, Mr. Uh, Daoud Kimo? We have uh, Rashido, uh, Mr. Daoud Kimo. Where is the equality that you're talking about? Someone is saying uh, Hitler was a Muslim. Well, big chance. Who knows? Right? We'll, we'll talk about that later, guys. Don't worry. We'll, we'll go there. Ah. Uh.
What equality are you talking about? Honest to God. I mean, uh, compare these two guys. Compare these two. We have Muhammad on the right and we have Hitler. Who is more worse? Who is more worse? You just read the hadith with me. Who is more worse? This guy maybe killed six, let's say eight million Jews. But this guy, Muhammad, oh, <laughs> Muhammad wants all the Jews to go. Who is more, uh, more worse? They are both worse, but this guy is more worse. This guy is certainly drinking uh, coffee with Muhammad in hellfire, but this guy is even more worse. He told the Muslims that all the Jews must go. At least this guy failed to wipe all, out all the Jews. Thank God. But this guy wants all the Jews to go. Hmm? Else last hour will not be established. Rob lies. Yeah, I, I lie. Maybe we should... Uh, Maybe we should uh, take Sahih al-Bukhari, all the books of Sahih al-Bukhari, and we should uh, throw them in the garbage bin, man. If I'm lying. Is there something wrong with you, man? Go check a doctor and see. Maybe you can read. All, right. all the Jews must go, else the last hour will not be established. Do you see it? All of them must go. Even the stones will talk. Oh Muslim, there's a Jew behind me. So come and kill him. So you can be the judge of that who is mowers. Guys, let me let me show you where Hitler, how Hitler got all the ideas from. Watch. Now some Christians always ask us, Rob Christian, can you tell me why you are using the N logo? You know the N letter? In Arabic, do you see it? Can you see it on my screen here? Right here, you see it here in the left, right? And I use it for my profile picture on YouTube. This is why. What is this, Rob Christian? Well, let's say in Iraq when ISIS came, the Muslim neighbor, the Muslim neighbors of the Jew of the Christians. This is a Christian house, guys. The Muslim neighbors started to paint the N logo which stand for Nasara, eh? who, they call us Nasara, i.e. the Christians, which is not true, but anyway, let's go Arab Christian. So they started to paint the N logo on our houses in the Middle East, let's say in Iraq, right? Why? Because ISIS know here's a Christian, come and force Jizya on him. The Guys, can you imagine? You live here, and here beside you, there's a Muslim house. You have been eating with them, you have been drinking with them. You know, there, it's a habit. Let me tell you something about the Middle East, guys. Christians and, and Muslims, when we make delicious food, we bring, uh, a, you know, a platter with uh, delicious uh, sweets or food, right? When we celebrate, we bring them to the Muslim neighbors. And the Muslim neighbors do the same. We eat and drink with these people. They even invite us, we invite them. That's what we used to do. Well, you know, when we on, were under uh, dictatorship of, uh, you know, like Saddam Hussein and uh, Assad, you know, and whatnot. You know, Saddam Hussein and Assad did not implement Sharia law, which was good for the Christians. You know, in the 90s, let's say, 80s, 90s. But the moment, the moment, these comebacks, you see, you can never trust, even for 40 years, if you lived with, the, with your Muslim neighbors beside you, you have eaten and drink with them, you could, you, finally, they will put a knife in your back. Do you see it? You can never, ever, you know, when I was a kid, I was, I was a baby, man. You know what my mom used to tell me, guys? I kid you not. My mom said, you cannot trust a Muslim, even if he is your best friend, you cannot trust him with two things, with your wealth, and with your wife. The moment you turn your back, he will either take your wife or your woman or money or both. They will betray you the moment you turn your back, they will betray you to put a knife in your back. You know, let me let me put it even more, uh, make it more clear to clear. When Muslims used to come and visit our houses, you know, they said, you know, they 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 maybe you need someone to come and fix your uh, dishwasher or whatnot. 
Before they enter the house, do you know what they do? They start first to spit on your porch, then they enter the, and they say, tuh, 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 tuh. All right? And they, uh, you know, they start to call us, uh, you know. We even hear it. They curse uh, Satan because the, according to them, we are Satan followers. They curse us, they spit on our porch, and then they enter our door. I kid you not. And we can't do anything about it because that's, we might, you know, they, they are in power, right? We have to accept it. What equality are you talking about, Mr. Daoud Kim? Something or truly must up with you. Tiger J7, thank you so much for the super chat. God bless you. So yeah, this is why I have my logo in remembrance for our dear brothers and sisters, our brethren in Christ in the Middle East. All right? So this is why. So guys, look, look at this. Someone said, Muhammad, uh, sorry, Hitler was a Muslim. Big chance, big chance, yeah. Very big chance that Hitler became a Muslim. Look, guys, for the people who never seen this before, I picked this picture from Google, all right? I went to Google, peace be upon him, and I found this picture. As you see, this is the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem. The Grand Mufti, basically the highest leader of Muslims in Jerusalem. Grand Mufti, that's how they call him. So he's the, the number one uh, leader of Islam in Jerusalem. This guy and Hitler were best uh, homeboys, brother. Homeboys, brother. Best friends. Look, and this guy was his advisor. I kid you not. He, um, Hitler was, was learning about this guy what to do with Jews. This guy was giving him advice how to handle the Jews, how to kill them, how to gas them. Best homeboys, man. Homeboys for life. Bad boys for life, brother. Equality, brother? Uh-uh. Don't lie. Yeah, maybe, guys, maybe I did the Photoshop. Uh, maybe I painted this, guys. Uh, you know, the, look, don't lie, brother. Yeah, I, I, I painted this, guys. Look at my painting skills, man. I used Photoshop and I made this picture. You idiot. You are not... Doing taqiyah, accept yourself. Eh, taqiyah, your taqiyah is not working anymore, brother. So guys, look, look. Where do you think the Jews, how, you know, sorry, the, the, the Nazis, where do you think they got the idea from? Look, in World War II, before actually the, the war started, Hitler ordered the Nazis to paint, to force the David Star. Look, what does it say? Jude? Judai, Jude, Jude, which means Jews, right? In German, Jude. I think it says Jude. Okay. So they and they start. They started to paint the yellow David star on the Jewish stores. This is a store. Do you see it? Cop and Joseph. Cop and Joseph. What does it say here? I don't know, guys. It's German, but it says Jews here. I think Jude and yeah, that means Jews. <laughs> Uh, collisions, just a moment, bro. Let me finish and I will accept your call after, please. Let me finish and then we will talk about it. So where do you think the, the, uh, the Nazis got that from? From the Muslims. We showed you that, right? The Muslims. Go and read the Pact of Omar, guys. Go read the Pact, the actual, the real Pact of Omar. The Jews were learning, guys. The Jews were learning. This guy was teaching Hitler how to deal with the Jews. Yeah, only Muslims can call for now. If there's a Muslim, I would love to take a call. Call me, man. Christians, wait, okay? We will allow you to call. Just a second. Do you see the similarities, guys? Do you see the similarities? Huh? Yeah, Islam is a religion of peace. Uh, you know, some some Muslims really still dare to say in 2020, Islam means peace, brother. Right? Islam means peace. And uh, Mr. Daud Kim, are you not disgusted of your evil cult? When you go to Mecca and you bring your mom, maybe your mom, maybe she wants to see uh, Mecca, she wants to come with you, but she's not convinced. She does not want to say the Shahada. Look, Mr. Daud Kim, what, where your mom must drive and where you have to drive. This is the road to Mecca, guys. Look, this is the road. Do you see a camel here? Even camels here. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, 
This is the road to Mecca, guys. Look. Lil Muslimin Fakat. Only for the Muslims. So here, Muslims that way to Mecca. Non Muslims that way, brother. That way. That way. Ghair al Muslimin. Non Muslims. So you're not allowed to enter Mecca. Do you see it? You're not allowed to enter Mecca, man. What equality, what uh, uh, shish kebab, what falafel would Christian Prince would have said? Thank you, Collision, uh, for the super chat. Collision 170 says, it's much deeper. That's why I called. Yeah, I know. Uh, Collision, now I, I just finished. And we just uh, barbecued this guy, this, these idiots, basically. What equality are you talking about, man? Why are you deceiving people like him, Mr. Daud Kim? I challenge you, Daud Kim, I will give you a thousand dollars if you can give me an eye where it says Muslims are equal with the Jews and the Christians. What equality, man? Yeah, look, look the equality, you can see it. I challenge you to tell me why, why, Mr. Daud Kim, if you have the courage and the knowledge, I challenge you to make a video and tell us why we have a road like this when you want to enter Mecca. Why? Where's the equality between the two? This one are the best of creation. These are the nation that Allah called the best of creation. Best of uh, the people. And this, you, these are nages, brother. This is why they are not allowed to enter. Yes, hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. Welcome. You're live on air. Oh, okay. Well, I'm a Muslim, as you probably know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, are you are you a man or a, a woman? Well, uh, I can say from well, my voice. Okay, well, I'm a man, but perhaps, perhaps it's a little hard. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Welcome. No. You're a Muslim. Okay, why are you a Muslim? Go ahead. Well, there are a number of reasons why I'm a Muslim, but um, one of the main uh, reasons why I'm a Muslim is because um, you know, when I pray, you know, it's I feel the peace inside. What? And you feel what? Uh, Sorry, come the, again. You the, feel what? The peace. I you feel, feel the peace. peace. Right. When you pray, right? When you pray, you say. Exactly. And this okay. peace, it goes beyond any understanding. Okay. So, when you pray, when you pray, do you recite Al-Fatiha, the chap chapter number one of the Quran? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Do you know when you recite chapter one, ayah seven, the last ayah of chapter one, do you know that you are right. repeating the curses of Allah on the Jews and the Christians? Do you know that? Yes, well, I heard about it, but could you please elaborate a little bit on, yes. on it? Because sure, sure. Let us go there. Can you see the screen? Uh, can uh, you see the screen? I'm Let me try to. Okay. Hold on. Uh, okay. Great. Do uh, that. Just a second, please. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let me open you too. Here. Yeah, but make sure to mute you too, please. Why? Right. Uh, 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 can I uh, just mm -hmm. uh, take your time? Uh, uh, yeah, sure. It's kind of hard to mm -hmm. uh, uh, just I, uh, what is this? Chapter one, I seven. The last I of the first chapter. Well, would you, uh, uh, I know what I'm going to do because I, c I couldn't mute you too, but uh, I'm going to take my other device. Okay. On uh, my phone, so, yeah. Okay, just a second, please. Okay, okay. Yes. I'm just, I just, yeah, it's a little bit slow. I'm sorry about that. I yeah, yeah sure. About it okay. Do you want, do you want to read it if you can? Chapter one, I seven. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Just a mm. little second, please. Okay. Sure. Uh, 
car. <laughs> almost there. Almost there. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Uh, Take your time. You thanks you to uh, All right, all okay. right, I'm there. Okay. 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 Stop. Read chapter Stop. one, I seven, please. Okay. okay. Um, <clears throat> the path of those uh, upon whom you have you have fa bestowed favor, not of those who have evoked your anger, or of those who are astray. Okay. Can you explain to me? Can you can you e explain to me what the last part of the I says? And start reading from not of those. Can you explain to me who those people are? The the blue blue highlighted words, please. Yeah. Um. Not of those who have about you. Okay. Stop. Yeah, sure. Who are those? What? What? Who, are those? Who, are those? Well, who are those? Who are those? This one. This first people, part. Yeah. What people would say those it refers to the Jews and the Christians, uh, correct? Uh, yes. The 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 first part is about the Jews. And the last right. part are the Christians, right? right. So well. you, now we can now we can conclude that it's talking about the Jews and the Christians. So when you recite the the right. Surat Al Fatiha and you right. when you pray you pray five times a day and you repeat it at least mm -hmm. seventeen times in total, right? At least seventy times. Yes. It can be even more than that. So do, why are you why are you repeating the curses of Allah on the Jews and the Christians? Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I, what makes you uh, better? You are a creation of God. I am a creation of God. What makes you better than me? That you that you need to re repeat the curses of Allah on us, the Jews and the Christians. Go ahead. Wow. Um. <laughs> oh, it's a tough question because yes, it's not really some. Um. Uh, should we not be equal? I mean, you are a human. You are a sinner. I'm a sinner. Yes. We have we have our mistakes. We have our sins. Uh, but what makes you better than me? That you need to repeat the curses of Allah on me because I'm a Christian, or maybe your neighbor who is a Jew. Hmm. Yeah, I see. Well, yes. When no, I would say we're not better, but this. Uh, you are not better. Uh, How are you not better? Please explain. Well, we all human beings, but uh, maybe this that part perhaps. Uh, oh, yes. Well, yes. it's um. So basically, uh, God doesn't uh told us that in the Fatiha, but um, yes, it's kind of uh. Not of those who have evoked you and go those. Who I have a question. Do you back. use a Do you use a voice changer? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh. Why? Oh, no, it sounds like that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, but but um, it's well, it's hard to explain. Mm. Uh, I think maybe um, we all equal to God, but uh, He wants uh. Yes. He he's angry at some persons. Uh, well, why is our, why is Allah angry with us? Well, first he called us. We are we are his people, right? The Jews are his people. He gave the Jews the Torah. He gave the Christians the Injil, and suddenly Allah changes his mind, turns his back on us. He step. He wants to try to stab us with a knife in our back. What have we done to Allah? Well, we're still followers of the Injil, and the Jews are still followers of the Torah. Why Allah want, what, uh, want us to be stabbed in the back? And he says in chapter 9, ayah 30, May Allah destroy them. May Allah kill them. Chapter 9, ayah 30. Do you see the screen? May Allah destroy uh, the Jews and the Christians. Uh, yes, yes. Why, why would Allah wants, want, uh, want to kill us? Well, he is the one who sent his books on us, right? He sent the Torah to the Jews. He sent yeah. the Injil to the Christians, but he wants to destroy us. Yeah. 
I have no idea. <laughs> so what? Then why are you a Muslim? Okay, guys, you hear? You heard it? It's it's a voice change, right? Yeah, it's a voice change. You heard? You heard it, right? I really, uh, you know, I really uh, was like, okay, you know, let's see, just to you know feel it out. Yeah, you heard it, right? You heard it. Yeah, fake voice. Yeah. A waste of time. You're, 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 you're such a coward that you don't even dare to use your own voice. You see, you see how bankrupt these people are. Imagine, guys, they call themselves, they call themselves the followers of Deen al haq which means followers of the true religion, Deen al haq true religion. Why are you such scumbags, cowards, evil son of Satan's that you are so cowards? You are so ashamed of your prophet and Deen. That you need to change your voice because you are ashamed. You are ashamed. Right? Evil. Evil people, man. You think I was born yesterday or something, idiot? You think I was born yesterday or something? See how these such people are deceiving these poor, poor victims, guys? Such people are the ones who are responsible of these kids that you see on the screen, these poor Korean to be deceived, duped by such people, such evil people. Can you imagine? Anyway, guys, uh, let's see if we can have uh, Christian calls. Let me first call this person and then we will also accept uh, the call from First Collegians 117. Brother, just wait because I want to call this other brother who called me earlier. Bibl biblical teaching, I'm calling you. Are you there? <clears throat> Brother, are you there? Mm. Call me, uh, call me later, okay? Then call me later. <clears throat> Just a second, guys. Let me. Do something here. Block, uh, block that uh, evil it son of Satan who called me. Let me call this brother back. Uh, First Galatians one seventeen. It's your turn, bro. I'm calling you. Oh, yo, hello, brother. You called me. Are you there, bro? Yeah, yeah. Let me mute you too. Yeah, please mute you. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You're loud and clear. Go ahead, bro. Thank make you. sure, yeah, make sure to come closer to the to the mic, please. Yeah, it's since possible. you brought up a uh, Hitler thing, you mm. know, uh, it started with the annexation of uh, of Austria. Yeah, Austria wasn't talking by war, and first thing he got out of Austria was the spear of destiny, which we call, you know, the spear that uh, we assume uh, Jesus was pierced. Yeah. And it's believed who have whoever possessed that won't be defeated in war. Mm -hmm. And uh, apparently, some of his generals all were already in um, occult thing. So it was very easy for him to accept uh, Islam. Um, um, maybe. maybe Islam, but mm -hmm. um, uh, you know what um, this Mufti. Um, the Grand Told Mufti him. of Jerusalem, yeah, the Grand Mufti. And uh, of, yeah. I have a. Uh, um, this is won't take longer. Uh, I was, when I was younger, I helped a guy uh, in his house, he was very old, yeah. and he was in SS troops mm -hmm. when he was young, in Germany, mm -hmm. and he said that uh, the Muslim nation were actually um, engaged with troops helping yes. this, the destruction of Jews, yeah. because they were angry exactly. because of Germany. They, wa and they, wanted, they wanted to wipe the Jews from the start, right? Yeah. That's why because, nobody... because Sunni, uh, this guy is a Sunni, right? The guys for the people. Sorry if I'm interrupting just a second, bro. This guy that you see here, the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem, as you see, you can see from his uh, thing here on his head, the top of his head. When you see people like this, this means this is guy is studied in Al-Azhar, in Egypt, Cairo, the number one university. So this guy is an Al-Azhari Sheikh, Grand Mufti Sheikh, right? So he, he, has, he is a PhD from Al-Azhar. So guys... These are the, you know, basically the Muslim Brotherhood, you know, basically the people in Egypt who even wrote in 1924 the Quran of Hafs. The Quran of Hafs is written by, by people like him, right? So he's an Al-Azhari Sheikh. 
just for your information. So continue, my friend. So uh, they were engaged because in the First World War it was France and Britain who put an end to their um, caliphate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because they wanted to help Germany against France. Yes, and the Ottoman uh, Empire, I think you're yeah. talking about, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, uh, in hell, in meantime, they had some fun with uh, the Jews as well. Yeah. So this was this why I wanted to come in because this was much uh, much deeper. It wasn't I just. I know. Uh, I know. Yeah. I know the back. Uh, I know. I know that. Yeah. Thank you for the input. Yeah. It's always good to add, you know, stuff that we didn't mention. So continue, my friend. And, yeah. And um, and uh, so they did that, um, you know, to complete the hadith that you just quote. Yeah. <laughs> like, the yeah. Jews, because it's always their goal. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> and um, if you, if I may make a short uh, about Dawood Kim, maybe he sees it. Yeah. Not only to make um, a response video to Surah 9, 27 to 30. Yeah. But uh, we know they're doing it for money because Muslims are all over. It's all over. about the money, exactly. Yeah. Muhammad in chapter 9, ayah 28 to 9. He clearly said to the Muslims, you don't need to fight anymore. Don't worry, because the Muslims started to complain to Muhammad. Muhammad, we are going to go bankrupt, right? Because you, yes. you just started to uh, forbid non-Muslims. You, you are calling them Najis, right? Ayah 99, Ayah 28. You are calling them filthy. It's on the screen. So the, from that moment on, Muhammad forbid anyone who is not a Muslim to enter Mecca. So the Muslims started to complain. You're, you're, we are going to become poor. Fear for poverty. So Muhammad said, don't worry, be happy. The, I have a solution. What's that solution? It's Jizya. Jizya. Well, Chapter 9, the 29, the next, right? Because they are not doing it, I'm going to do it. I'm just waiting for my Muslim beer to, um, to be delivered. And I'm going to make a reaction video to this because nobody wants to. Yeah. I think it's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, my friend, so, just make sure to put, uh, and I, I ask the admins to provide this brother his YouTube channel in the live chat, guys, and support I, this brother, please. Uh, to be honest, yeah. I'm here, you know, to give you more uh, yeah. insights or a complete final to bring on top. I don't need necessarily, I'm not in for the money. I've uh, got this. No, no, not, not, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about subscribers, brother. Yeah. I want to reach yeah. a thousand and then so I can go live too. Mm. Because um, you know it would be better to be more of us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you need you need thousand and subscribers, and yeah, I, I think four four minutes. yeah four four thousand uh, watch hours or something. That's the the minimum uh, what you need to go live. Yeah, yeah. yeah because we yeah. can do this uh, sometimes, maybe all together at some point if you wish. Yeah, I, sure. don't, I know you do with Kai yeah. as well. Yeah, I uh, have many requests to be honest with you, but. The thing is, uh, the situation that I'm in right now, uh, maybe yeah. I will say yes, but uh, I don't want to, you know, say yes. And tomorrow I have to disappoint anyone because the situation that I'm now, my, from my wife is in labor almost. So I if I'm going to say yes and tomorrow I can, then I don't want to disappoint any brother or sister in Christ. You know, I so, have also yeah. other two so yeah. that sometimes my <laughs> wife is like, you're spending too much time on it. Yeah, and I'll so, say, you know. <laughs> A yeah. human soul worth all the time. Yeah. At least she understands. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, have a blessed day. Thank and you I'll for your out. input, bro. Thank uh, you for your input. God bless you. Yeah. God bless your ministry. And uh, brothers and sisters in the live, please support this brother, his YouTube channel, please. Thank you, and my friend. Bless your life and your children and everything. And Thank hope you. to Thank hear you. from you Appreciate again it. sometime. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Would love to. See you. Thank you. Thank you for See the you. call. Bye bye. So yeah, you heard the gentleman, right, guys? Thank you for the input, my friend. Yeah, you know, uh, Muslims don't need to fight any. Uh, sorry, they don't need to work anymore. Their only job is fight. You see it? Fight. We will provide the money from the jizya, right? Hello, brother Alexander. You are live on air, my friend. Welcome. Hello. Mm. Bad connection. But let me call him back. Alexander, you have bad connection, it says. Let's see, maybe it's now better. Hello, Alexander. How are you? Hi, brother. Hi, hi, hi. hi. How are you? Yeah. I'm good, my you, it said earlier that you had bad connection, so Yes, maybe, maybe it's my my fault. Yeah. Brother, ahead, I, yeah. I I send you a link in Skype about Hitler and Islam. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, in this link, you can read uh, the what Hitler says about Islam. Uh, maybe you can show on the screen for, for the audience. Mm, let's see. Okay. It's from the, it's from the Cambridge University. Okay, let's see if I can put it. Uh, let me make it a little bit bigger. Yes. Maybe you want to read? Read, uh, read it, my friend. If you, do you have it in front of you? Do you see it? Yeah, yes, I can. I see. I see it on the on the screen. Let, let me read the title: Nazi Germany and Islam in Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East. Go ahead, my friend. In his global bestseller Inside the Third Reich, Adolf Hitler's former architect and armaments minister Albert Speer cited the German dictator's view what. Uh, that if the Arabs had won the Battle of Tours in the 8th century, the world would be Mohammedan today. Wow. That, was, that was the case, he continued, because there was a religion that believed in spreading the faith by the sword and subjugating all nations to their faith. Mm -hmm. The Germanic people would have become hers to that religion. Such a creed was perfectly suited to the Germanic temperament. Yet, because of what Hitler called, called Arabs, racial inferiority and inability to handle the harsher climate, they, they could not have kept down the more vigorous natives, so that ultimately not Arabs, but Is Islamized Germans could have stood at the head of the Mohammedan empires. Wow! Hitler, con Hitler concluded, it's been our misfortune to have the wrong religion. Wow. Why, why didn't we have the religion of the Japanese who regard sacrifice for the fatherland as their highest good? The Mohammedan religion, too, would have been much more compatible to us than Christianity. Wow. Why did it have to be Christianity with its meekness and flabbiness? Wow. Can you imagine? Wow. Can you... In a nutshell, can you conclude what basically in a nutshell it says? Just for the people it's, maybe who could not yeah, follow. Hitler, Hitler thinks for his people was better to be Muslim because uh, the jihad, it's the the, the, mm -hmm. the the mentality of religion. Christianity means peace. Exactly. With, Christ, with Christianity, you cannot go in war. Yeah. With, with, with Christianity, you cannot go in war to, to, to conquer other, other lands. Yeah. For for defense, yes, but not to conquer. Yeah. And he thinks the Muhammad. It's read really, that that's that's in his book. That's that 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 are the words of Hitler. It's been mm. our misfortune to have the wrong religion. Wow! Can so, can you imagine this, brother? Wow, I know guys. Maybe wow. maybe you know, maybe you never hear before of that. No, but I, this is first time that I read this. But this Hitler is, Hitler talks a lot this, about Islam. Yeah, a lot, and, uh, a lot, this a lot. explains this explains this picture that you see on, here on the screen, right? Yes, yes, yes. With the Grand Mufti and, of uh, Jerusalem. Uh, uh. Yes, and and uh, it's a historical fact. The uh, SS Hanjar division from Bosnia. Wow. There were, Someone is asking for. There the were a hundred. Sure. Yeah. Let me put. There the, were there the, were hundreds of hundred of thousand Muslims from Bosnia. And uh, this Mufti sends thousands of thousands of Mujahideens to Bosnia to fight with Hitler. Wow. I know this. I'm, I'm from Serbia. My whole family, the, the, the whole history of my family, we fight against Nazis, Islam. I know this from my grandfather, from my grand-grandfather. Wow. It's a fact. It's a historical fact, brother. Yeah, so basically, Muhammad, uh, you know, uh, for Hitler was good, right? That's basically a nutshell. Yes. He, he, it, he, it was. Uh, because Islam teaches, Islam teaches that the Muslims must conquer the whole planet. And that's what basically the Nazis wanted for, you know, they wanted to take whole Europe, right? That was their yes. first goal. And Muhammad made one mistake. He started to attack the Russians, right? Sovietini. Uh, Sovietini was too big. It was too cold. And that basically destroyed them. The moment uh, Hitler decided to enter Sovietini, he failed. His plan His brother. failed. Yeah. Brother. Never, never play with the Russians. <laughs> yeah, the Russians are dangerous. <laughs> but never play with Russians. <laughs> yeah, Russians, man. Uh, I brother, mean, uh, I mean, many people try to conquer Russia, right? It's impossible, bro. It's too big. It's, only, it's too cold. Only, only, uh, just look at Siberia. <laughs>
Only, only, Rumble, yeah. only Rambo, only Rambo can defeat the Russians. <laughs> <laughs> But Rambo is over 60 years old, man. <laughs> brother, another question, brother. Uh, in, <laughs> another question. In the first part today, uh, this guy who calls you with... Uh, By the way, just a second, bro. Someone is saying the Russians have vodka, others don't have vodka. So, you know, they have the 80% vodka, man. It's... You can you can fight in the cold with that stuff. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, th th that's a fuel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is funny. Yeah, brother, you uh, yeah. this guy or today in the first part you mentioned or this guy mentioned this part. Uh, yeah, the, the so-called yeah, 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 yeah. Sura three forty nine, the creation of the bird with Allah's permission. Uh, uh was no? Let me three 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 forty nine. 349, okay, let's see if we can, uh, thought I had it already before me now. So yeah, about, uh, yeah, uh, Isa, the they, they call yes. yeah, they call him uh, Jesus, but it's Isa. There's yes, Isa, Jesus. but yeah. they, 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 mean, they, mean, they mean Jesus. Yeah, so he's going uh, to, uh, to blow inside the bird that he made from clay, and Isa is the one giving him life because, You know, he's giving the bird life because he's the one who's doing the breathing, not Allah, right? Because when yes. we ask Muslims, who is the life giver? They say it's Allah. Allah is the one who's doing the breathing. Allah did the breathing inside Adam. But here we see Isa himself breathing inside the clay bird and it becomes life, a life bird, right? So here is Isa is the one who's doing the creation. He's the one who's doing the creation Go yes ahead, he, he 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 ma he he, ma he makes the act he he breathes yeah, exactly and please can you now open a uh, surah 22 just before just before we go there bro the guy uh you 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 reminded me of something the guy said you know moses he threw his stick on the floor and became a stake uh question here comes the one million dollar question did moses guys listen carefully because the guy mentioned it because he says you know yeah i understand that asa Uh, created life but Moses did the same okay here comes the one million dollar question did Moses breathe inside the stick to to make give it life no 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 <laughs> it was so, a miracle <laughs> so your logic is the logic of a child not an eight-year-old child go ahead my friend yes and now please brother open surah 22 verse 73 the translation of Ahmed Ali 22 and now which ayah 2273 Okay, let me go there. Yes, 73. Bear with me, guys, just a second. We're almost there. 73. And the translation of Ahmed Ali, it's the it's the easiest to understand. Okay, just a second. Go ahead, my friend, read it. It's on the screen. Yes. O oh, man, give ear to this parable. Those you worship other than God can never create as much as a fly, even if they get together to do so. And if the fly were to rob them of a thing, they will not be able to snatch it away from it. How weak the seeker and how weak the sought. Ah. The bird is, I think, a bird is bigger than a fly. Yeah, exactly. And it, in this verse 73 yeah. is not mentioned by permission of Allah or without permission But wait, of wait, Allah. wait my friend he is clearly says those you worship other than Allah there's nothing called uh, God it's Allah it's false translation anyway they so those who you never. worship yeah they can never create as much as a fly but wait Christians Christians worship Jesus and we see that Jesus is creating he's creating life so yes. this is a huge contradiction With yes. the ayah that we read before. Do you see yes. the contradictions, guy? I, I, Do you see I the contradiction? Know, I don't know what to say exactly in Arabic, yeah. but I think it's it, mm, it's okay, this translation. Or can you please uh, say, is anything wrong? Or it's okay, it's acceptable, this uh, translation? Yeah, it's, it's, it looks good, yeah. Yeah, but only okay. Allah. The Allah part is, uh, you know, there's nothing yes, called God, God because Allah. Allah. because We God, the word, it. yeah, God is in Arabic is Ilah, but here yes. you see Allah. It's Allah. Allah. We it's can not see Ilah. That. So it's Allah so himself. Yeah. In the Arabic, in, in the Arabic, is nothing with uh, with Allah's permission or without permission. It's nothing in this no. verse no. about this. Exactly. So, okay, so mm -hmm. we worship the Son. Yeah. Uh, the God. Exactly. So. Jesus, he created more yes. than a fly, 
And but Allah here says, those you worship, okay, we worship Jesus. We are Christians. We are followers of Jesus. This is why we are called Christian. But we also yes. worship Jesus. We consider him to be the second person in the triune Godhead. The Father, the Son, which is Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. But we worship Jesus, and here we have a contradiction. It says, those you worship, Jesus, as Christians, other than Allah, can never create as much as a fly. But wait, Jesus created a bird. And we know yes. Muhammad stole it from, from uh, Apocrypha writing. But we, here we have a huge contradiction with reality. With reality. Yes. Yeah. It's, exactly. it's a book full of contradiction. Full, yeah. full, full. My friend, did we make the Quran become a basically toilet paper, my friend? I think it became a toilet paper because now we can use it uh, as toilet paper and uh, flush the toilet with it. Because here Allah just, or we know it's Muhammad. Muhammad made poo poo, man. Huge poo poo, <laughs> as Christian Prince would have said. <laughs> guys, this is this the, is this the work of God, guys? Christ, uh, Muslims, if you are sincere with yourself, ask yourself this question. Is this the work of a man or the work of God? Be honest. Can God contradict himself? Have a cake and well, eat I, it too? I it's think your, it's your I, funeral. It's your funeral. Right? I think this book it's not even worth toilet paper, brother. I don't know. I yeah, yeah. Stay, toilet stay paper. Away. To, we don't want to insult toilet paper, man. No. <laughs> No, no, no. We are no. honest. You're Muslim, sorry, but we are honest. How can you believe in this? How can you put your salvation in this book that we basically made shish kebab out of it? As Christian Prince would have said. Yes, and garbage, I see uh, I, I see in your chat is a uh, girl, Sarah Ali. Every time I see she write, uh, you don't respect us. Uh, who, who, who? What's her name? Sara Ali. Sara Ali. S A R A Ali. I think okay. it's a girl, and I um, ask and I ask yeah. her, uh, show me please the respect for us Christians and yeah. Jews in exactly. the Quran, yeah. and we will give a, give give to you the same respect. Yeah. If Allah, if Allah would have not called us nejes, yes. disgusting, filthy, would be a different story. If Allah did not call us the worst of creatures. If Allah didn't command the Muslims to fight us, would have been a dis different story. Can you show me the respect in the Quran for the Jews and the Christians, yes. uh, Sarah? Yes. You want us to respect Muhammad. You want us to respect Islam, but you cannot show us the respect in your in your books and in the Sunnah toward, toward us. Muhammad is saying in the Hadith, the last hour will not be established. This is Sahih Bukhari. The last hour will not be established until you fight with the Jews. And even the stones will speak and say, there is a Jew behind me. O Muslim, there is a Jew behind me. So come and kill him. Else judgment day will not be established. Do you see it? So yes, you are I, demanding respect. But where is your respect? I see, I see Sister K, Soko Films say uh, she won't false gospel, false Christ, false God. I, uh, I maybe she understand me false. Uh, false. Mm. I don't talk the respect against Quran and Muhammad. Mm. I talk to the respect for the Muslims, for, yeah. for the people. Yeah. Just to make it even more clear, Sarah, I know you're listening. We don't hate you, Sarah. We are not Muslims like you. We know you Muslims hate us because Everything that Allah hates, you must hate too, right? That's what Islam teaches. If Allah hates the Jews and the Christians, you must hate the Jews and the Christians too. So you hate us, you curse us every, every day, at least 17 times when you recite Al-Fatiha. Repeat the curses of Allah, that also that we can find in 9, chapter 9, ayah 30, where Allah is saying, may, may Allah destroy them, right? May Allah kill them, destroy them. You demand respect from us. Who do you think you are? Right? Who do you think you are? Yes. And respect brother, must be earned. Respect must be earned. We don't hate you, but we don't respect you because you are nothing but a follower of Satan. Allah is Satan. Muhammad is the agent of Satan. He's the apostle of Satan. Deal with it. If you can't yes, handle brother. the truth, it's your funeral. 
And I and I can read here in the chat uh, a guy uh, writes Hitler believed in Jesus yes but he don't believe in the resurrection he don't believe in the crucifixion he believes Jesus was a mighty warrior for the Aryan really? nation yes <laughs> you can you can read it brother uh, well, and this yeah. is this is a false claim uh, he yeah. he might he say came, he, came he was to play. A, he came to play yes he, he he might say he was a Christian but the fact is uh, Hitler don't believe in the crucifixion he don't believe no. in the resurrection. Yeah, and exactly. He was basically says, an atheist, right? Who wants? Who had love for Islam, basically? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And he thinks Jesus was a white Aryan fighter for the white nation and wow. all yeah. this crazy stuff. Yeah, he was living inside the Matrix, bro. <laughs> yes, brother, that's easy. <laughs> Maybe it's it's, maybe it's, maybe was <laughs> Hitler the re reincarnation of Muhammad? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe if you, <laughs> you want to believe in that stuff. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> uh, okay, My friend, thank always you, always amazing to talk to you, bro. Keep calling us. Uh, do you have a YouTube channel, by the way, bro? Mm, yes, brother. I, I uh, just uh, copy your videos and post it again with okay. another name. Can you put it in the in the YouTube YouTube chat so that the admins can share it? Uh, yes. You know, give us the name and then. Uh... Okay. Thank you for calling, brother. Thank you, brother. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye. bye, bye. Whoa. Hello. Your life on air. And yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh, Rob. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a Muslim or a Christian, my friend? Just to make sure. Uh, you can say that I'm kind of ex-Muslim right now. Okay, you're ex-Muslim. Okay. Have we talked before? Yeah. Okay, because I think I yeah I I recognized your voice. Uh, yeah. What is your situation? So you left Islam, and what's your situation at the moment? Are you thinking of becoming a Christian or what? What's uh yeah actually uh yeah i i'm i'm beginning i'm thinking about uh, becoming a christian so you want to become a I, christian yeah okay uh do you do you believe that jesus is uh, your lord and savior yeah i accept him okay so you draw can you say out loud that muhammad is a false prophet can you say that um Actually, it is very hard for me, but uh, say it. I mean, if you're, you just said you you are basically an ex-Muslim, so it should not be hard to say Muhammad is a false prophet, and I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Say it, my friend. Yeah, actually, uh, mm, yeah, Muhammad is a false prophet. Muhammad is a false prophet. Hallelujah. I'm happy for you guys. Look at the live chat. Everybody is happy for you. Do you want to pray with me here, like uh, right here, right now, and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, my friend? Yeah, sure. Okay. P repeat after me, please. Thank you, Jesus, for being my Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for being my Savior. Because of you, I don't have to die for eternity. Because of you, I don't have to die for the eternity. Thank you for your ultimate gift, your grace, so that I can be saved with you. Be saved with you for eternity. Thank you for your ultimate grace, so I can be saved with you, with eternity. You are my Lord, my God, my Savior. You are my Lord, you are my God, you are my Savior. Welcome to Christianity, my friend. You are now a dear brother of ours. God bless you. And God bless your family. I hope one day that your family will accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, my friend. Welcome. We are happy for you. Uh, according to Christianity, according to the Bible, today, because you just accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, there is going to be a huge celebration in the kingdom of God. And I advise you uh, to look for a church and uh, get baptized, because that's the second step, my friend. I'm happy yeah. for you. Hallelujah. Yeah, like so. Uh, what what else do you suggest that I should be doing? Yeah, you should you should start reading uh, the gospel. Uh, you can you can uh, open the New Testament, read, and you will see that it's going to totally change you, my friend. 
when you become a Christian, you need to stay away from sinning. And you'll see slowly, when you start reading and understanding the Holy Bible, you'll see that you're going, your whole life will be upside down. In the past, maybe you hated people as a Muslim. You maybe cursed Jews and Christians. You hated Jews and Christians. But from now on, my friend, as a Christian, you are not even allowed to hate your worst enemies. Ask God to forgive them. Try to learn to forgive so that God himself can forgive your sins. Christianity teaches if you want to be forgiven, love your enemies first. And that's the beauty about Christ. Yeah, of course. Uh, so, uh, like, uh, uh, which version of Bible would you suggest? Like? Any, any, any version, no problem. A anything that is very easy for you, my friend. Go to the church. If you have a church uh, in your neighborhood or you, you can find a church, uh, a Trinitarian church, right? A church that f believes in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That is one God. And they, I'm, sh I'm sure if you go to them and say, I was a Muslim, I became a Christian, can I have a uh, Bible? And they, they, I'm sure they're going to give you. Or go to any near bookstore and I'm sure they can. Uh, you can buy a, uh, a Bible from there, right? Okay, so uh, like uh, I'm not getting like uh, you can like, you can buy the KGV uh, any any translation right King, if you prefer English translation or a translation because you know our holy Bible is not limited to one language as the Quran right the Quran is only Arabic you have to always go to know our holy Bible the word of God is not limited to one language my friend uh, some people are saying get the KGV we know that the KGV is can be a little bit difficult but that's a really uh, tr good translation that I myself used to KGV, the King James version. Oh, uh, I'm not what KGV what? I'm not. Yeah, uh, yeah KGV not... K King James version. You can also get the the oh. new King King James version. It's much easier to read. So it depends what you you know. Open open the Bible, see if it's easier or not. There are there are many there are many translations. They are all translations, right? You can use the SIV, uh, e, uh, sorry, ESV, ESV is uh, maybe easier to read. There, there are many uh, translations that you can use, my friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, like, uh, uh, is it required that uh, I have to tell my family everything about this? Well, uh, it depends on what kind of family you have. My friend, if they, let's say they find out that you became a Christian, you cannot lie about your faith. It's not like Islam. You know, Islam teaches you can use taqiyya if you are in danger. No, Christianity does not allow you to. But if you, if, if your family can be maybe dangerous, uh, you know, you know your, fam your family better than me, you know, uh, don't immediately say, hey, look, I'm a Christian. No, t t you know, baby steps. And, you know, I I'm sure God will... Uh, will keep you safe, my friend. You are now a child of God, my friend. You are a newborn Christian. Welcome to the family. Don't, and by the way, the Bible teaches, don't fear anyone who might hurt the flesh. Fear the ones who might hurt your soul. And that's what Islam have been doing to the Muslims. Muhammad, you know, is like his father, Satan, who was the first killer. He was the first murderer, Satan himself. So when you are a follower of Satan, which is Allah, and Muhammad is the agent of Satan. You, you, you're a follower of a murderer, my friend. So don't fear, like I said, in Christianity, we believe that Jesus is our shepherd. He will always keep us safe. So don't fear the ones who might hurt the flesh. Fear the ones who might hurt your soul, right? That was, that's what Christianity teaches. Jesus himself said, in my name, you're going to get persecuted, but you're going to be blessed of that. Look at me, my friend. I'm almost live every day. You have no idea how much hate messages I get, how much uh, death threats I receive. But I'm not afraid. I'm here, right? You understand, bro? Yeah, I'm getting it. Stay safe, you know, but you cannot deny and say, no, I'm not a Christian. Because if you are a follower of the truth and Jesus said, I am the truth, you should not deny the truth, my friend. We are not Muslims. Only the truth and only the truth will set us free. And someone is saying uh, you can also join uh, our Discord. Do you have Discord, my friend? Do no, you, know, I don't do know you use? 
it's a it's a yeah. program basically a program that you can install it's called discord and uh, uh our friends in the live chat here uh one of the admins k soko films she's an admin she already provided the link so you need to download it if you go to discord.gg discord.gg you can download a, an app it's you can use it even on your smartphone and then you can click on the link that is that you can find in the live chat and you can you can join this uh, the server it's very easy very easy and our dear brothers and sisters will be happy to to help you maybe answer questions that you have maybe guide you and help you with your questions All right. Great. All right. Yeah. I'm happy for you, my friend. Our friends in the live chat who are now your family in Christ. We, you are family of ours. Don't forget, we are family in Christ. We are happy for you. And I, like I said, there at this very moment, there is a huge celebration in the kingdom of God because you just became a child of God. You are a newborn child of God. Welcome, my friend. Welcome in Christ. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you for calling. Like, uh, yeah. I mean, like, uh, I'm not uh, that well versed with the Bible, so like. Sure, no problem. Um, like I said, our friends here, our friends here, uh, like I said, our friends were going to help you. Our admins in the live chat will talk to you and uh, they will help you. Don't worry, my friend. We are not alone. Don't worry. Keep watching our videos, keep watching our live shows, and don't worry. Don't worry. We are here for you, my friend. Okay, thank you. God bless you and welcome to Christ. Thank you for calling, brother. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, guys, this is why we do this. This is why we do this. Hello? 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 Hello, hi. Hello. Yeah, you're live on air. Welcome. How are you, brother? Hey, I'm good. What about you? I'm fine, thank God. Praise God for what happened. Praise Amen. God for... Amen. Did you hear it, my friend? Celebration yeah. in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, 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 I'm, all, I'm almost crying. <laughs> yeah, my friend. You, no. see, you see why we do this, guys? We don't do this for ourselves. We do this for the truth and only for the truth. Hallelujah. Thank you, yeah, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank, thank you, you, thank you that this brother is now saved. He was yeah. he was a Muslim. He maybe lived a disgusting life. Maybe he was hating, and now he's now he's now a son, of, a child of God. Who uh, hopefully he will understand what Christianity is slowly, baby steps, what Christianity is about, and the love of Christ, the Amen. love of Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I mean, actually, amazing. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out of words, actually, yeah. because it's, it's amazing. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I have the honor. I have. I, it's an honor to speak to someone yeah. like him. Uh, this is this. This is in my life, guy. I'm going to be honest with you. This is maybe the third or second time. I think this second time that I could pray with someone and he, that he accept Christ. So, you know, guys, it's yes. uh, this feeling. This feeling is indescribable. Yeah, Go glory ahead, to God. Amen. Amen. Uh, actually, I have I have three things I want to talk about. I don't know if you have time or not. <laughs> yeah, no. Go ahead, bro. Uh, I know. I know. Maybe you are speechless like me. You know, because what we just <laughs> witnessed is, you know. Actually, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Actually, when I was in the Middle East, still I worked with Muslims, our brethren, and some of them prayed with me. Not all of them uh, totally uh, have changed. In their lives, but yeah, I was 180 degrees, right? Maybe yeah, they were yeah. sinners uh, yeah. used to sin day but, in day out, and when they accept Christ, they become totally different people, man. Totally different people. No hate in their hearts. Some of them love. even yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Some of them baptized and joined churches. Some yeah. of them were afraid, so I don't know what happened with them later. Yeah. But thank God, God is working, Amen. and the truth, which is Jesus, cannot Amen. be hidden. Amen. They Amen. can't hide it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just uh, concerning today's uh, subject, actually, mm -hmm. I know the Korean culture is uh, is different culture. So, Islam Islam isn't uh, compatible compatible mm -hmm. with that culture. They, they yeah. can't accept Islam because <laughs> because it will be it will be very strange for that culture. So maybe now 
for fame or for uh, some sub- subscribe my friend just a second i'm i'm you are sounding like a robot i think your connection other guy okay my friend, i'm sorry the, it's my internet connection yeah sorry. repeat repeat what you said the the last couple words please I said that Korean culture is different, so yeah. the Islam can't can exactly, go yeah. or involve with that, that yeah. culture. So yeah. maybe uh, Dawood and this Daniel, this uh, this kid Daniel, yeah. they are deceived by Islam and they are now happy with more subscribers or yeah. for getting some fame. Yeah, can you but imagine if, this guy has two million uh, subscribers, man? Two million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's another. Do you know al muallafat Yeah. It's another way. Yeah. It's another way to pay people money to bring them to Islam. Now you just go to subscribe to him yeah, and uh, and they you will make him famous so he will be attached to Islam yeah, more. Yeah, it's like but it's like a Islam. sign, right? It's like the sign, you know, for Muslims. They can use him, yeah. you know, to deceive as many people as they as, as they can and uh, it's Islam, it's exactly. Islam, you know, it's tactic, it's a tactic. Right. Exactly. Actually, uh, I want to talk about uh, Hitler and uh, Al-Imam Al-Husayni, Al-Husayni. Yeah, the Mufti, right? Yeah, Al Mufti, the Grand yeah. Mufti, and yeah. he is, and he is the he is the co-founder of Al Ikhwan Al Muslimi. Muslim. Yeah, yeah, like uh, what was his uh, the uh, the name of the other guy? Uh, uh, Yusuf Hassan Qaradawi. Yusuf, Yusuf Qaradawi, right? Yusuf Qaradawi. Yusuf Qaradawi yeah. is, is one. Yeah, is one of them of yeah. their temporary. Uh, yeah, I remember uh, what Yusuf Al Qaradawi uh, said. Do you remember what he said, bro? You know Arabic, right? You remember yeah, when he said, "If yeah. if the uh, you know the penalty for apostasy, maybe I can find the picture. If the apostasy uh, punishment was not there, Islam would have been gone by now. It would have ceased to yeah. exist." They were honest. It's because of the apostasy I, punishment, right? Yeah, it's history actually. Because you yeah. know, after the uh, so-called prophet died, yeah. exactly what what Abu Bakr did. Exactly. He went the Rida Wars, right? The Rida Wars. Yeah. He started to wage war against the apostates. Immed- after Muhammad died, guys, honest to God, after Muhammad died, immediately those Muslims who were scared of Muhammad, they started to leave Islam left and right. Then when uh, uh, Abu Bakr came to power, he waged the Rida yeah. War. Rida War, which means the yeah. war against the apostates, right? Yeah. So... And then over, he started to force them to come back to Islam. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And in this in this war, in this war, there is about 70 readers of the Quran died. So because of that, uh, Uthman and uh, Abu Bakr was forced to yeah. to, re, to regather the Quran again because they lost most people who, who saved the who saved the Quran or the, who have it yeah. in their minds. Exactly. If it was true. Uh, in in the book of uh, Hamid Abdul Samad, he is an ex Muslim and he was part of the Muslim Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. He say that uh, Hitler was a very close friend to Al Imam Al Husayni, yes. and even and even as a reward to Al Imam Al Husayni, to what Al Imam Al Husayni did to Hitler, he gathered people from Yugoslavia and from Soviet Union to join Hitler to kill to kill and fight for him. Yeah. He gave him the mosque in Munich. The Grand Mosque in Munich was given to Al Imam Al Husayni as a yeah. reward. Yeah. Wow. And this madness. and this so, someone is saying madness, one of the admins. <laughs> it is madness. And this uh, and this uh, wow. mosque yeah. was this mosque was the center of Al Ikhwan Al Muslimin in Germany. Wow. Which, and the, and the guys, for, just just a second, my friend. Akhwan uh, yeah. al-Muslimin in Arabic, guys, means the Muslim Brotherhood, which were in power, right? They are basically the largest number in Egypt, right? And the current president, Actually, current president of Egypt, is basically their worst not enemy. The, yeah. the one before the uh, yeah uh, Mercy. Yeah, but, uh, yeah the, the one. Oh yeah, the one. Yeah. Before, sorry, Mercy. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. and the Imam of this mosque of Munich mosque. Mm-hmm. Was uh, was uh, Hassan Al Banna uh, son-in-law? Yeah. So imagine Hassan Al Banna and Imam Al Husayni are the one who started this uh, organization. This, this comeback, right? This comeback on the left, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This this organization yeah. and Hitler gave them this mosque so they can bring more people to help him. And actually, Al Imam Al Husayni is the one who gave Hitler the idea of the final solution. 
the final solution consists of the idea of killing the Jews and finish this uh, and finish this so uh, wait in, in other words my friend in other words yeah. Hitler was getting information idea, how to deal with Jews from yeah. who from who from Al Imam Al Husseini. Ah, Rob Christian was not lying. Do you see? No. This? You, Here we have you, an Arabic speaker who is confirming it. Go ahead, my friend. It's it's written in Ian Johnson uh, book and in uh, the Islamic fascism of uh, Samad uh, Hamid Abdul Samad. Yeah. So Hamid Samad, yeah, that one, that yeah. that others come back. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's an yeah. ex-Muslim, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We pray that he yeah. will come to Lord Jesus. Yeah, amen. <coughs> uh, now he left Islam, right? Yeah. He left Islam a long time ago, yeah. and, and he caused yeah. most, <laughs> a lot of Muslims to leave Islam because he's a very good thinker. <laughs> he has a great yeah. thing. And, and he, he was yeah. part of the Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, wow. So, yeah, for, so for he was a, he was he was a very evil man, and then he discovered Islam is nothing but... Uh, yeah deception and you know and uh yeah and I, hope, I hope that he will become a Muslim. is he still alive is he still alive yeah yeah he's still alive oh, okay. yeah he lives in germany okay. i think yeah. in germany okay hmm. yeah. yeah uh actually can can i talk just a few things about yesterday sure, go talk? Ahead, bro go ahead, go ahead you know yesterday you were talking about that jesus was created through god blowing in the Stomach. I don't. I don't yeah, want to oh, say yeah, that. The, yeah. No, yeah. Uh, about the ayah in the Quran where Allah is doing yeah. <laughs> chapter sixty-six, ayah twelve. Just yeah. let me let me open the ayah because you know people can follow you what you say when it's on the screen. Actually, can, can you go first to Surah Al Imran, Surah three forty-nine? Uh, three forty-nine. Yeah. Just yeah. A because because there is a case in my mind. I want you to follow with me to, mm -hmm. to confirm if it's right yeah. or not. Okay. Go ahead, my friend. I'm following. So in uh, in Surah Al Imran mm -hmm. uh, 49, yeah. Yeah. This is the first ayah. Yeah. The second ayah. So just just can you translate just for, for to be sure because people so, you know. So here is Jesus. He yeah. said. Uh, one of the one of the miracles that I can do, I will make a bird from clay, mm -hmm. and I will I will I will breathe in it, so it will become what it will who become. Who is doing a, Who is doing the breathing, my friend? Just to confirm, Jesus, 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 Jesus. not Allah, exactly. Jesus no, is the one giving life to the bird, exactly. Yeah, Continue. and and if you go to uh, Surah Al Hajr, twenty nine. Uh, just a second. Surah Al Hajr 29. Okay. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, bro. Here, here God is talking about how He created Adam. He said, mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Here, God is saying, I created Adam. And in other ayah, He say I created it. He from is the clay. one. Now Allah is doing the breathing, right? Yeah. Do you see it? Do you his, see, from, you see it? Yeah. Yeah. So, so Allah is doing exactly what no. Jesus did to the bird. Jesus is blowing inside the bird. Yeah, exactly. And here we have Allah is from doing blowing inside Adam, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and if you go now to Surah at tahrim Surah sixty six, Ayat twelve. Yes. Go ahead. It's on the screen. Yeah, Surah at tahrim وَمَرْيَمْ بِنَتُ عِمْرَانِ الَّتِي أَحْصَنَتْ فَرْجَهَا فَنَفَخْنَا فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِنَا Yes. So here, here it's the same. Here it says that Maryam bint Imran, ibn, uh, the daughter of Imran who kept her private part. What, what, what are you saying? It's not just to you. Are you sure, bro? You're an Arab speaker, man. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's private part. <laughs> it's private part. <laughs> what, what, what is yeah, private, you can't bro? Say, it's the Fijay right? It's not uh, chastity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the sexual That's, private. You see, part. you see how the Quran is insulting the mother of our Lord, bro. You see, yeah. and Allah, actually, uh, Allah is blowing her up like a balloon, bro. <laughs> yeah, actually, actually, it's sad. It's sad, and they say that they. I don't know that you, you can My friend, imagine, uh, imagine, bro. You are follower. You are a Muslim. You are a follower of Deen Al Haq, the religion of truth, right? The yeah, <laughs> Dean al Batal, yeah, the, the religion of falsehood, Dean al Batal. But yeah. they are so ashamed. Imagine 
they are followers of Deen al-Haq, they are followers of the religion of truth, but, are, but they are too ashamed about Allah using filthy language that they have to use false translation. They are too ashamed to translate it the correct way and use the word fijayje, right? Yeah, it's it's taqiyya again. Yeah. So if if you if we sum those three ayahs, yes, what what what's there that Jesus is creating and yeah. breathing in the birds? Yes. God created Adam and breathed into uh, into the clay. Yes, to to give him life. Yes, but in this last verse, yeah. if it was. Jibril who was breathing into Maryam, that, that will make Jibril a creator, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. But wait, can we, so, can, you, you can read Arabic. Can you read the Arabic, yeah. please? Guys, listen carefully to what the brother is reading. Can you read it? And let's see if Jibril is in the, uh, in the ayah. Read it, my friend. Yeah. What does it so say again? Here, what is the what is the word? It's Maryam, the daughter of Amran yeah. or Imram. He doesn't know who is the guy. Yeah. But Maryam, the daughter of Imran, her, her private sex, private part, and mm -hmm. live into it, into this part from yeah. our spirit. Okay. So all there, so we don't hear the name so, Jibril, right? Where is Jibril? No, there is. There is no Jibreel, yeah, no Jibreel no, over here. Exactly, yeah. And 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 if you notice, Jibreel doesn't mention in the Quran with Jesus. What what's mentioned with Jesus is the Holy Spirit. Yes, but the Holy with Spirit. Muhammad is Jibreel. Yeah. 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 So exactly. Over here, over here, the my friend, your reading. internet, your internet, uh, you're cutting out. Just a second. Can you try I'm again? I'm really yeah. sorry. Yeah, go ahead. You know, I can hear so, you again. Yeah. So. If you if if Jibril was breathing into Maryam, that will make Jibril a creator as well, and exactly. that will make him God. Guys, did you did you hear so, what this brother just? He made a very important point. If this is Jibril, as the Muslims claim, he is also a creator. And the Quran says, "Tabarak Allah, ahsan al khalqin." Blessed be Allah, the best of creators. Yeah. So we have Isa who is doing creating, breathing into the clay bird, becoming alive. Allah is creating. Mm -hmm. And we have, if, if they claim this is Jibreel, that means Jibreel is doing the creation. You see it? So, so how many if they say are that there in Islam? Jibreel, yeah. Yeah, if they, if they say Jibreel is that, okay, for, for Jesus in Surah Al-Nisa 171, he is a spirit. Yeah. So you can understand that. Ruh Allah, right? Ruh Allah is, Ruh Allah is, Ruh Allah is yeah. Kalimat Allah. Yeah, yeah exactly. So are you he saying that? He is the spirit that, of God, who, yeah. so he can't give life. Yeah, but, he can but give, for Jibril, yeah. he can mm -hmm. give life as well. That that means he's God. Yeah. So Jibril is is God. Guys, so, guys, do you see it? We therefore, if they claim this is Jibril, guys, we therefore breathe into her from our spirit, from ourselves. So if they claim this is Jibril, yeah. that means Jibril is creator, Jesus is creator, and Allah is creator. We have three creators in Islam. Bam. So because wow. of that, it can't be it can't be Jibril. Yeah. First of all, it yeah. must God who, who yeah. breathing into Maryam yeah, or it is, Allah. It is Allah. Allah. Yeah, it is Allah. Yeah, but they, you know, they because they claim Allah is not a spirit, so they have to add do bid'ah. They have to add to the Quran, mm. which the Quran does not say, because Allah is limited. <laughs> yeah. So that because Allah is limited, they want to help Allah out because Allah cannot be clear. He's limited. Muslims need to help Allah to make Himself clear. Exactly, exactly, and and uh, this verse brought a lot of confusion to interpret the Quran. Some of the Jews, but some of them, like Tabari, he said he meaning Jesus. My friend, you are cutting again. Just a second, my friend, you are cutting again. Sorry. Yeah, can can you try again? No. Yeah, Al Tabari said. Yeah, Al Tabari. It's, yeah. yeah. It's better now. Yeah. Yeah, Al Tabari said it's Tirjibri. Yeah. Or another interpretation, it says it might be Jesus who became a human in front of the soul of Jesus, the eternal soul of Jesus. So he has a soul before he was, he became a human. Yeah, but it says, uh, that, uh, basically, if we go to ch to that ayah, just a second, my friend, if we go to chapter yeah. uh, four, right? It was chapter four, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Chapter four, ayah 171, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, just a second. No, Surah Al-Tahrim 66. But also, if we go to 171, 
yeah, if yeah. you see there, it's it's, can you read it in there, bro? Help me to help you because uh, one, yeah, one seventy one. Yeah, just a second. I'm almost there. Because you know, as we always say, you can never ever trust any translation for the Quran. They're always doing taqiyya. And since we have <laughs> two Arabic speakers who can read and confirm, go ahead, bro. Yeah. Actually, to, to confirm more, yeah. some of the people who hold the same my surname as mine or yeah. the family name as mine, they claim yeah. they are descendant of the Prophet. <laughs> yeah, uh, my friend uh, yeah that. i know but <laughs> doesn't say that doesn't that. say oh, that no. yeah doesn't it say that the, that word the word al kalima isn't a descendant on uh, you know it comes from above right it's it's from yeah, allah yeah. so allah so yeah. in in other words jesus who they call isa jesus was with allah yeah. and allah brings yeah. it, brings him down so Isa yeah. was or, uh, has been always been with Allah and he sent him down. So it means that Isa, who they call Jesus, Isa, he existed already with Allah from the very beginning. Right? Yeah, exactly. And he's it's, it's not said, only that, he's Kalimat Allah. And they yeah. say Kalimat Allah is eternal, uncreated. Yeah. It says it says in Arabic, yeah. Masih Isa ibn Maryama, Rasulullah wa kalimatuhu alqaha ila Maryam. Can you can you explain what Alqaha al means, my friend? Alqaha, he threw it. He threw it. He sent it. From where? So, from himself, right? From, from where? From, from, from El Fardos, from right? Him. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. so if it wasn't there, how can he send yeah. it? Yeah, exactly. Jesus was there and he was sent. Yeah. But to go back go back to the problem that this word Fanafahna Fiha, yeah. if you go to Tafsir al Bagawi, Look at the filthiness of language. Tafsir al Baghawi Ma'alim al Tanzil. It says, Kala Akrima, in Mariama cannot takunu fil Mesjidi for either Hadot, Hawalat, Ila Baiti Halatiha, Hatta either Zaharat, Hatta either Tahurat, Adat Ila Mesjidi for Baina Mahia Tatasil in Al Haid, Kotajerat Min Tiabiha, Antiabiha, it already the Lahaj in Fisura Tishab bin Amrada or the Ilwaj. Yes. Shabin Amrad. Okay, I'll translate. Yeah. yeah. As, as much as I can. In Maryam, uh, Maryam was uh, when she used to have the period. She yeah. used to leave the, the bro, place look of at worship. The look, where guys, guys, look at the language. Look at the language. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Yeah. Yeah. She used to leave the place where she was living in the in the temple, supposedly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, she, and she used to go to her uh, uncle or her aunt house yeah until she became pure and she came back to mm. come back to be able to come back yeah. so at that day she was close she was washing her clothes from the blood of the period can you imagine guys what they are saying about our blessed and mother she was, of our lord wow yeah. yeah and she was totally she was totally naked exactly wow so yeah it's <laughs> Well, then yeah, Jibri, she lost her clothes then, basically she lost her clothes yeah yeah she sure that, her clothes sure yeah, yeah. yeah she yeah. her clothes out yes then Jibril came to her in a in a photo or in an image of the of a very beautiful and shiny uh, man he became a complete man exactly yeah um, yeah and you, but well, wait you know my friend before we continue my friend yeah. muslims yeah. always have a problem with jesus being the word of god who came into the flesh, he has two natures, right? 100% man, 100% divine. They have a problem with it, but they don't have a problem with so-called, they call Jibreel, so-called Jibreel yeah. becoming a complete man. The Jibreel, do you Jibreel see, the, do you see the double standard, my friend? Do you see the double standard? I told you, even uh, yeah. Al-Tabari says in yeah. the last of his interpretation, it might be the soul of Isa. He didn't say soul of Isa, but when you read yeah. the... Uh, the sentence in Arabic it says that, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. even even Ibn Kathir he mentioned that translation, and he mm. might be coming from other sources. Yeah. But it's why it was mentioned. Yeah. So anyway, if you go if you go to Sahih al Bukhari, mm. yeah. Do you want me to go to uh, Ibn Kathir first, or no? Uh, sorry, no, no. Uh, go to Sunan al Nisa'i four nine. Just nine second. one. Uh, can you can you read a couple things from that one? Yeah. So that I can search it up. Who came down in the form of Dehiya al Kalbi? Mm -hmm. uh, ta -ta -ta. 
Okay, okay. Start reading, my friend. Can you read the first sentences? So, so I just want to read the last sentence of the hadith. The hadith is very, very long. The last mm -hmm. sentence of the hadith. Sunan Abi Dawood? You said Sunan Abi Dawood? Yeah. Sunan, Sunan al Nisa'i. Oh, Sunan Nisa'i. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if I can. 4991. Oh, I think I found it. Four? It's dot com. Four. Four nine nine one. Okay, I got it. Okay, it's on the screen. So in the last sentence, it says, "ثم قال لا والذي بعث محمدا بالحق هدى وبشيرا ما كنت بأعلم به من رجل منكم وإنه لجبريل عليه السلام نزل في صورة من في صورة in the image of who in the image of دحية الكلبي." Yeah, that was Jibreel, Imagine. peace be upon him, who came down in the form of Dahil Kalbi. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so if they are saying, if they are saying that Jibreel, who yeah. breathed into Mary, yeah. was uh, if the one who breathed into Mary wasn't God, it was Jibreel. Yeah. And in Al Baghawi, it's Jibreel. Jibreel became as a man yeah. with a beautiful image. Yeah. And here, Muhammad is saying that Jibreel used to come to him in the image of Dahiya Al Kalbi. Yes, Jibril was a shapeshifter. He's like yeah, like a demon. It's, it's He's not, shapeshifting. But yeah, but the yeah. idea is not just here. The idea yeah. is so if, if Jibril used to come in the Dahiya Al Kalbi and Dahiya Al Kalbi, if you go to other hadith, he was yeah. very beautiful man. Even the women of Quraysh used to go out of the windows to saw yeah. to yeah. watch him when he was coming. Yeah, to the, exactly. The, yeah, yeah. Uh, of Al Madina. Yeah. So anyway. What do you think about, uh, actually, if we can read the other sources, uh, actually, we can co also conclude that Dahi al-Kalbi had uh, maybe sexual relationship with Muhammad. With Muhammad, yeah. yeah. But, but for this, here, yeah. before we go there, yeah. for this, if you read, if you remember what Al-Baghawi said, Al-Baghawi said Maryam mm -hmm. was without clothes. Yeah, so, exactly. She was completely she, naked. She, yeah. yeah. And Jibreel, who, yeah. who used to come, and the image of Dahiya Al Kalbi was appeared in in front of her. Yeah, so it was Dahiya Al Kalbi, in, in, maybe in other words. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And and the ayah in the Quran says we breathe into her private sexual pa part. Yes. Farjiha. So then that Farjiha. will make what? Yeah. Uh, that will make in the imagination of those people who are interpreting this filth yeah. that Dahiya Al. He went into Maryam when she was naked and he breathed or he blow into her private sexual part. Yeah, look at, so these, that look, be... look at these liars. Yeah. They, they call it who guarded her chastity. Okay, I will give you a thousand dollars if you can show me the word chastity in the Arabic. Yeah, and it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, mm. so it's, it's a full sexual intercourse between Dahiya Al Kalbi and Maryam, Dahiya Al Kalbi who came as Jibreel. So everyone who mm. says Jibreel, is the one who breathed into Maryam private part that will make that he is blaspheming Maryam, he's blaspheming Jesus, and he's blaspheming God. He's God, not our he's bla yeah. they are blaspheming yeah. for God anyway. Yeah, exactly. so because of it's it's full of filth. Yeah. Imagine, imagine in your head, the Maryam is naked, and the yeah. Kalbi, who is Jibreel, coming in front of her and breathing into her private part. Bro, are you imagine, sure it's okay. private part? Because uh, if, it, if I go to Al Ma'ani, it says private part, so. I think Rob Christian yeah. and this brother is, are not lying. It is private part. Farjiha, private part. Private part. Yeah. And, and they have, have, but they still have the audacity, bro. They still have the audacity to, to you know, mention her chastity. You see these lies? At the same time, they are trying to be honest, but at the same time, they call it chastity, which is not true. We know what Farji means. Yeah, they are lying and yeah. they can't, because they are, they are ashamed of this yeah. filth. Yeah, they are ashamed, yeah are ashamed of this filth. Yeah. So I'm sorry for the language I use today. I'm sorry for no, my bro, accent. I, I understand. You know, we, uh, you know, guys, for the people who don't know, this brother uh, uh, understand what I'm going to say. We Christians in the Middle East, we suffered so much from this evil son of yeah. Satan religion, this evil cult. We suffered so much that we, this is why, this is why when you have an Arabic speaking Christian, who really is not lazy and he wants to do what we do, he's going to, you know, not going to get, go easy on this evil cult and Muhammad. So, it's, it's you know, yeah. it's, this is why Christian crazy. Prince is like this. This is why Rob Christian is like this. This is why Sam Shamon, we know Sam Shamon doesn't know speak Arabic, but he's still from the Middle East, right? So yeah. this is why we are so aggressive, because we suffered.
from this evil call. Guys, why are you calling me when I'm in the middle of a call? Come on. Okay, go ahead, my friend. Maybe last words and we, maybe... Actually, okay. yeah, actually yeah. that's all. I'm sorry if it's part yeah. of the subject, but I wanted to share that because, you know, the the Quran and the Hadith clearly saying that Jibril is Dahiya al-Kalbi mm -hmm. and the Quran saying that someone breathed into Miriam uh, private sexual part. Yeah. So if that real, that will make Dahiya al-Kalbi a human making, a creating Jesus. Yeah. So it's, it's full of faith, man. Yeah, God it's bless disgusting. You. God bless you. Thank you, my friend. Yeah. We know Islam, you know, Muhammad loved to insult Jesus and his mother. We know why Muhammad created Islam. We know, my friend, we know. Thank you for I calling. God bless you. Keep God calling bless. me, my friend. Shukran Ktir. Rabbi Barkak. May God bless God you, your family. And thank you for calling. Keep calling yeah. me. I love you, my friend. God bless you. God bless you all. And God bless your majesty. Thank Bye. you. God bless you too, brother. God bless. Bye-bye. Uh, what can we do guys? This is Islam 101. You know, when you're going to create um, an evil cult, of course you're going to attack the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, right? We know what Muhammad also said in the Sunnah, right? Remember the Hadith? I hope I can find it. About the King of Kings. Just a second, I hope I can find it. Look. Look what it says. This is Sahih Bukhari, brother. Sahih what? Sahih Bukhari. Narrated Abu Huraira from Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 6205. Sahih al-Bukhari 6205. Let me give you the link, guys. I'm getting tired, to be honest with you guys, because we did basically two live shows today. It says, narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's Messenger said, the most awful name in Allah's sight on the day of resurrection will be that of a man, Jesus, calling himself Malik al-Amlak, the king of kings. Do you see it? What? Really, man? Do you really need to be very crystal clear? <laughs> You see, guys, how Islam, how this evil son of Satan, Muhammad himself, hated Jesus from the deepest of his heart. You see it? Let me give you again the link, guys. This proves from the mouth of Muhammad. Muhammad is the one talking, right, guys? He hated Jesus. You see, the proof is in front of you. Because we know who the king of kings is, right, guys? Bam. Muhammad truly hated Jesus, the real Jesus. He hated him. Let me see if I can pick this call. Yes, you're live on air. Hello? <clears throat> hello? Yeah, hello? Can I try please? You're live on air. Okay, you have a bad connection. Fix your connection, please. Maybe we can uh, call next time. Guys, I'm really getting tired. Uh, you know, I know, guys. You know, I would love to stay with you. I love you. I would love to stay with you the whole night. The whole... Many hours. Let's, let's take this last call, let's see. Hello? <clears throat> Hello? 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 Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much. Uh, I think we had amazing calls today. Amazing live show that we had to cut in two parts, right? Part one and part two. Thank you for being here, guys. Thank you for your support. Look, I can't thank you enough, guys. Because of you, we can do this. If you like, guys, we have now part one and part two. Please download them, share them on social media, especially the people who can translate to Korean language. Download our videos. Maybe if you like, cut them in parts and do something, guys. We should stop the poor Korean people to become victims like these people here that you see on the screen. To become victims of this evil religion of Satan. This man-made evil, sex and death hate cult 
that we call Islam. I love you. You are my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for being here. God bless you and your loved ones. Stay safe. Stay away from Islam. Don't get duped and fooled like these people that you see on the screen. Be smart. I love you. Lord willing, we will see each other in a future live show. Keep all the warriors in Christ. I want to thank also our brothers David Wood and Sam Shamoon for giving me a shout out yesterday on their live show. I love you, Sam. I love you, David Wood. I love all the warriors, K Soka Films, Soka Films, all the warriors. I love you, all of you. Keep them in your prayers, guys. Keep our admins in your prayers. They're always doing an amazing job. Lord willing, we will see each other again. Muhammad is a fake prophet. Drop him like a bag of sand and please come back home to Jesus, our Lord and Savior. The name above all names. And thank you, Lord, that a Muslim today, life on air, left Islam and accept Jesus as his Lord and Savior. Thank you for allowing me to pray with him so that he can accept you, Lord Jesus, as his Lord and Savior. Thank you. Thank you for this honor. Thank you for this amazing audience. Thank you for my callers. And may Jesus open the eyes of all the Muslims. We have hope for everybody. Everybody can change. Everybody can become a newborn Christian and become a brother or sister in Christ. Thank you for watching, guys. God bless you. God bless your family. We will see each other, Lord willing, in a future live show. God bless.